In my last video, I went out to photograph the plant nurseries of Los Angeles, and specifically I went out to photograph their relationship to Edison, the power company, and kind of this interesting dynamic that they have where a lot of the plant nurseries in Los Angeles occupy this unused space under Edison's power lines. This was a topic that I came across myself just driving around the city, and it's something I pursued in my own time as if it was a commission from a publication or a newspaper. And I referred to this as a self-assignment, and I was really surprised to read all the feedback in the comments section because that topic seemed to resonate with a lot of people. So to recap, a self-assignment is essentially you commissioning yourself for a photography project. You give yourself a set amount of time to pursue it, and it's a great way to explore a topic that you might not have looked at otherwise, and also to build out your portfolio with some new images. I had a lot of fun with that last video, and so today I'm I want to share another example of that. The idea for this next self-assignment came from looking through my archive of the photos that I've shot over the past two years here in California, and I noticed I had a lot of photos from this town called Morro Bay. It's this very beautiful, picturesque, kind of coastal town. And when I looked through all these photos, I specifically started to notice a lot of images of one subject in particular, which was the Morro Bay rock. And sometimes it was these very up-close, intentional photos photos of this landmark and in other images it was kind of just lingering in the background of a photo of maybe some plants or a house but I noticed that through this archive I had a lot of images of this one specific subject and when I saw that there was maybe potential for a little series here I decided it would be good to go back out to that town and photograph this subject intentionally for a few days. So my goal for this self-assignment was very simple, essentially to just photograph this rock in a very repetitive way, just looking at different light each time and finding different perspectives on it. Just for fun, I went out with my buddy Jake and we made this into a little car camping trip as well. Just made myself a little coffee. I slept surprisingly well in the back of that car last night. It was super comfy. It did get a little cold in the middle of the night, but that's when I just zipped up that sleeping bag. And it was great. I really got to start doing this more, especially when you consider just waking right up to that view. I mean, come on, got my coffee. Life's good, man. What's up, Jake? <laughs> How'd you sleep, Frida? Yo, I got you coffee right there.
After our first sunrise, I spent the rest of the day just walking around the town, kind of finding new perspectives and also planning some locations to come back to for when there's more interesting light. Yo, this camping shit is too easy. Too easy. <gasps> nice cinematic clip there. <laughs> I think what I like about my take on this kind of repetitive photography is maybe a little bit more of an emphasis on just watching light, watching the sunset, watching overcast light, the fog rolling in, that kind of thing. It really fascinates me and the rock is kind of just a nice excuse to stay in the same place for a while and continue watching the light change over the course of the next year maybe. It's also really fun playing with the scale of this rock for me, seeing it kind of really far off in the distance and then getting it really up close kind of in your face. It gives you a nice idea of the context of this landscape around it and how this town is laid out. It's almost like a character I think that develops in the photos and it takes on different personalities with different kinds of light and it's really fun it's just such a simple project conceptually but so much fun to continue to pursue and continue to watch the light change and find different perspectives of it The water is freezing cold, but this is too good. What's up, guy? I think I just shot a pretty cool perspective of the Morro Bay Rock in the window of one of these houses, which was like super reflective and nice. Um, we'll see how it turns out. There was some cool difference with the compositions and it was just a nice reflection. So I'm stoked on it.
I think one image that was really successful for me from this trip specifically was this photo of the reflection of this rock in the windows. And it was really interesting because the windows are kind of angled two different ways. So in the left window, you have this intense sunset happening. And in the right window, you get this darker blue reflection of the Morro Bay rock. It's a nice example of like a just playful, fun perspective of the same subject, getting it reflected as opposed to photographing it directly. I really like the repetitive nature of this project so far because it forces me to think of new ways to photograph the same thing. For example, this image here at sunset, kind of nice seeing it from really far away, some nice leading lines and all these kayaks around. Yeah, it's fun finding new ways to photograph the same thing over and over and still make it feel different than the last image. For spending like two and a half days out there, I think I got a couple images that were definitely worthwhile in terms of adding to the series and finding new perspectives on the subject. I really enjoyed this project and I think I'm gonna continue photographing it over the next year, just continuing to play with new perspectives and different kinds of light and just watching it change throughout the seasons here. Let me know what you guys thought of this self-assignment. Hopefully this is inspiring for you to find a project for yourself to pursue and just come up with a new way of trying things out and pushing yourself when it comes to taking photos. I have another video coming up here in a few days, so look out for that. Thank you so much for watching, and finally, thank you to the sponsor of this video, which is Squarespace. Squarespace is an incredible all-in-one website building platform that you can use to build your photography portfolio online. I've been using Squarespace for so many years now, and they've made it so easy to get a website up and running with my photography. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, you can hit the link in my description for a 14 day free trial of Squarespace. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Willem for 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. I'll see you guys soon with another video. Peace.